we've already shuffled, and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Cancer, the recent past energy between you and your person, Queen of Cups with the Nine of Cups. Now, the Queen of Cups, it usually can indicate a person or a woman who will be helpful, help, very helpful to you. She reminds us to bring love, compassion to our work and to our world. And that's even possible even if we work in a factory all day with objects rather than people. So things are probably better in your world when this card appears than you're realizing. Now, it's with this Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is actually one of the most uplifting and pleasant cards to receive in a reading. It's often known as the Wish card. It can mean that what you're hoping for or dreaming about, it's most likely to be yours in a very brief period of time. Yeah, so the appearance of this card, it's about happiness, good things to come. Like I said, it usually means that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. And if you're asking a yes or no type of question, well, the Nine of Cups is the most powerful indicator of yes. So, basically, like I said, the recent past energy between you and your person, Queen of Cups, clarified by the Nine of Cups. Wow. Beautiful. That's a lot. Those are a lot of cups there. Let's see. You've got ten cups. Nine of Cups, like I said, it's like a wish card. You could feel like, you could have felt like, um, with your, with your, when you're with your person, you could feel like your, your wishes are coming true. They're a wish come true for you. And this person has a lot of love for you with this Queen of Cups. Love and compassion. Yeah, just know whenever you see the Queen of Cups or the King of Cups in a reading, that's a lot of love. Those are two of, two of the most loving energies in the tarot. So, that recent past energy is actually, it's beautiful. You feel like they're your wish come true, and they've got a lot of love for you. So, let's move it over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, so we got Empress and so the Fool. Now, Empress, just know that this is the type that doesn't play by the rules. She has her own way of doing things, her own idea of what is right and what is wrong in any and all endeavors. Now, this does not mean she'll always get her way, but she's actually a reminder not to ignore your creative and intuitive side. They can signify coming abundance. But don't make the mistake of thinking that this will always mean financially. Because there's many types of wealth and riches in life. The money is actually only one of them. But as the Empress, you can have it all. Now, like I said, it's with the Fool card. The Fool card can indicate newness in one form or another. Now, in, in many ways, it indicates purity open-hearted energy and innocence of a child. Children, they're trusting. And trust, it actually forms the basis of meaning for this card. So this is considered a positive card in the tarot, but there could be one thing. It's going to be important for you to take time and be sure that you're looking where you're going. Trusting yourself to take a step into the unknown, that's one thing. But if you do so without any doubt whatsoever, it can be a big mistake. As you can see, that's what he's doing. Full card is the card below the word present. 
Yeah, he's he's um trusting his self to take a step into the unknown. But he's doing it without any thought whatsoever. And what's below him is all blue water. It looks like the Pacific Ocean. So, bam, there he goes. So, coming up, Cancer, for you and your person, Empress clarified by this fool. So, yeah, coming up, wow. It looks good. It really does. I'm feeling that there's going to be a lot of attraction. A lot of... Your person will be attracted to you and you'll be attracted to them. Because the Empress is a, is a very potent time for love when you get this card. It's about... All of a sudden you find men and women. All of a sudden they're finding you far more attractive. Both in terms of friendship and romance. So the both of you will be just pull, having a pull towards each other. They'll be looking at you like, wow. And you'll be looking at your person like, wow. So I don't know if you two have big plans for the holidays. And you're gonna, both are going to dress up. But it's going to be a lot of attraction. A lot of great, I'm getting a lot of great chemistry going on. Yeah, you're going to be, look, like I said, excited about them, and they're going to be excited about you, and wow, you, and then, then with the full card here, it's like, you both are just going to want to just jump right on in, jump right on into each other. Yeah, taking a leap of faith, that's what the fool does, that's what the fool card does. Ready, ready and excited about having this new beginning or starting some new beginnings with each other or towards each other just jumping right on into this connection you just feel excited about it so yeah I'm getting the both of you are feeling this way not just you or not just your person you both are excited about each other and very, very attracted to each other. Like I said, you see them as a wish come true and this person has a lot of love for you. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Well, we got the Nine of Pentacles and it's with the Six of Swords. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is actually an, it's just another great card. It's very uplifting, encouraging. This can mean that your financial worries are over for a while and that things will be going better than you thought ever possible. So, enjoy this good energy. Share your wealth and your happiness with others. Now, it's with the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords can actually indicate some type of metaphorical movement, maybe a change in where you are inwardly. Usually the change is for the better. Whether it's internal or external, it's about thinking where you want to be. There's a slight reduction in stress and strain. Things may not be perfect, but they're going to be better than they have been in the recent past. So take this time to get your head above the water. And decide where you're going from here. Even a short break or a change of scenery is going to be helpful. And this does not have to cost money. So, Cancer, your challenge. Nine of Pentacles. Clarified by the Six of Swords. Yeah, so... I do, but I don't. I want to use the word conflict or or some type of maybe disagreement or argument might have happened or, or it could be happening coming up between you and your person. But then things turn around for the better with the Nine of Pentacles. Actually, it, it kind of brings you two closer together because the Nine of Pentacles, like I said, it's actually... 
a really, really good card to get in a reading. Um, the relationship can rise. It can raise. Well, put it, put it this way. The relationship or the connection can go to new heights. To the next level. Or just new heights. New heights of intimacy and joy. So, if there was a little spat or some type of disagreement or some conflict, you two move into calmer waters. That's what they're doing in this boat or a canoe that, 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 that they're in, the Six of Swords, the card below the word challenge. They just got out of raging waters, and now the water is calm and still. And so there's no more disagreement, no more fighting, no, no more arguing. They're moving into calmer waters. And with the Nine of Pentacles here, it actually helped the connection go to the next level. Or, or t it gives it a boost. And you never need it. You didn't even need a boost because things were going good for you already. But I guess, like I said, there could be some type of disagreement or something coming up. But with the Nine of Pentacles here, it actually it helps the connection. The connection takes off to another level. Yeah. So, so far things are beautiful. I, I love this reading. For a, for a lot of you Cancers, you, you got something good coming up. If this is not already going on. So, that was a challenge. Let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. We got the Four of Swords. And it's with the Seven of Wands. Okay, so the Four of Swords. It's actually showing in this picture that there's a need for a break. Could be from normal life. This can mean that you or someone in your life, they may withdraw for a time. Now, the withdrawal is not likely to be permanent. It, um, it's a sign to give people their space. You could be needing some space and time to yourself. Others could be pushing too hard for bits and time of your attention, but don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself. Or to just say no. On the other hand, when others say no to you, take them at their word. Because if you push in the circumstance, it could be asking for trouble. Now, it's with the Seven of Wands. When this card appears, you could find that in any sort of competitive situation that you come out on top. Things should be going well. You should be feeling good. Any projects should be moving right along. You still may have some regular moments of self-doubt, though, but it's going to be t it's going to be time to feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people because your thinking is clear, and you could help someone out by spelling things out for them. This card it points towards being independent and thinking for yourself. So, Cancer, the outcome, Four of Swords, clarified by the Seven of Wands. Well, like I said, um, it looks like during that challenge, um, the two of you might have had some disagreement or something, but like I said, it helped, it actually helped the connection. But um, you or your person might be relieved that you two got through whatever argument that was and someone wants a break yeah someone just wants some a little maybe a little a long time because this four of swords the card above the word outcome it's about rest after struggle so yes yeah, someone just maybe wants to clear their mind um but they come back yeah they come back so I like the Four of Swords. Isn't that a cute card? Um, 
the card above the word outcome. You see how this man, he looks like he went to the top of the mountains. He took his four dogs with him and four swords with him. And a candle. Yeah, so if anyone was to bother him while he's up at the top of the mountains by himself with his dogs, if someone was to bother it or disrupt his peace and his rest, he'd pull the four swords out and use them. And, yeah, he just wants rest after a struggle. He'll probably be there overnight. Or maybe, maybe a couple of nights. Because he lit a candle in his shoe. Yeah, but the um, four of swords just rest after a struggle, but they do come back. It's a temporary withdrawal. So, this could be your person. Cancer. That little spat or disagreement that the two of you had. It kind of took a toll on, on them. Yeah. Even though it it helped, actually helped the connection with the Nine of Pentacles showing up here. But don't worry though, we got the Seven of Wands here. Your person wants to come out on top. They want to win you, they want to win the connection. So, if that's them taking a break and not you, like I said, they'll, they'll come running down from the mountains once they get some rest and recovery. From whatever spat or disagreement the two of you had. Because they want to be like the seven of wands. They want to come out on top. They want to win the connection with you. Your person wants to be the last man standing with you. Cancer. So that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try out one of those. So... Cancer, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next Cancer reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other, the other person could actually be a friend. Could be a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Also, don't forget the roles can be switched. Yes, they can. You could be them or they could be you. Yeah. So, like I said, because these are general readings and not personal readings. You do have to take the reading for however it resonates. So Cancer, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that um, to see you at the next reading. I hope that you guys have a great day. I'm wishing all of you happy holidays. Hope to see you at the next reading and take care.